Okay, so we're going to do stuffed eggplants. We're going to do the vegan version and a vegetarian version. So in here, if you look down, see I've sliced the eggplant crosswise, and then it's got a little bit of oil on it and some thyme and salt and pepper. And then I'm going to put it in the oven at 400 degrees. It's fucking hot. And at the same time, then we're going to start frying off some onions. Stay tuned. Okay, so onions are brown. I added some garlic in there, and now we're going to go in with a level teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of allspice, and just a pinch of cloves. Get that going. Give that a nice mix. You smell it right away. Oh. And then a splash of red wine. And now we're going to let that cook up. Okay, so... If you come in here, you see how most of the wine has now evaporated and we're just left with these sort of jammy onion mixture. Oh, also I forgot to add oregano. I added a teaspoon of oregano when you weren't looking. Okay, so now we're gonna go with a small can of tomatoes in. And then we're gonna rinse out the can of tomatoes with vegetable stock and fill that up and continue on. Okay, so I took out our eggplants. They took about 25 minutes. It's gonna depend on the size of your eggplants. And, okay, so, now let the sauce reduce right down to here, and now we're going to go in with that, uh, remember that mushroom mixture we were making yesterday for the uh, Wellingtons? Uh, we made extra, so we're going to go in with that now. Now, that would have been enough, except real talk, I've been snacking on it all day, so we're going to have to even it out with a little bit of veggie ground run. Okay, so... I've got the heat off now, I ended up using a half a package of ground round because I ate too many of those mushrooms, um, and it's off the heat now. I did add a tablespoon of agave um, just to balance the sweetness, or sorry, the sweetness, to balance the fucking acidity of the tomatoes. God damn it. Uh, and now we're going to go in with uh, mint and parsley, and then we're going to zest in a half a lemon and let everything cool. Okay, so while everything's cooling, we're going to make vegan cheese. So if you come in here... In here, I've got one cup of roasted salted cashews. I've got about eight tablespoons of water, a squeeze of lemon, two and a half tablespoons of nutritional yeast, and a pinch of yellow mustard powder. And then we're just going to pulse the living fuck out of it. Okay, so everything's cool enough to handle. This is how you know your eggplant is done. You can kind of give it one of those. So here's what we're going to do. You're going to flatten it down. Like this, just make a little well, and we're gonna spoon in some of our mixture. <laughs> My dog just started. Do you have to go out then? <laughs> and then we're gonna to top it with our vegan cashew cheese. <laughs> And we're going to continue on with the rest like that. And then the other half, we're just going to grate normal cheese on for the vegetarians. Okay, our kitchen is now a full mess, which is what it should be after a day of cooking. Uh, down here, I've got them all assembled. You'll see the vegan ones here. And then the ones with veg that are vegetarian, I put a little bit of the cashew cream and then also some cheese on top. I forgot to mention that uh, it needed a bit of salt, the cashew thing, and I also forgot to mention there was a clove of garlic in there. There's also some lovely brown cocktails here. And the lovely lady behind the camera made that shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so, so lastly, we're going to put these in a 400 degree oven at the same time that we put in the beef wellington. So the whole thing should take about 15 to 20 minutes for everything to cook together. Uh, and now we're going to go prepare some sides.